In this grade 12 life sciences video, we are looking at the September preparatory paper 2 exam scope. We have already covered our paper 1 scope. If you haven't seen that, go make sure that you start with that. In this one, we are going to be specifically looking at what's going to come up in your paper 2 in terms of the topics and also what do you need to study under each and every single one of those topics to be prepared. In our first topic, DNA, the code of life, you need to be able to identify the location of the DNA, that is the chromosomes, the genes, the extra nuclear DNA. You need to be able to name and give the roles of the scientists in discovery of DNA. You need to be able to do the structure, the role, and the replication of DNA. Be able to interpret DNA profiling, do RNA and DNA differences, then get to transcription, translation, gene mutation, and be able to draw and label diagrams of DNA and RNA. The second topic on our scope, we are looking at meiosis and under it you need to be able to describe the significance of meiosis, be able to identify the different phases of meiosis, be able to differentiate between meiosis 1 and meiosis 2, be able to explain the consequences of non-disjunction, be able to differentiate between meiosis and mitosis and lastly be able to interpret the karyotype diagrams. The third topic on your scope is genetics and inheritance. You need to be able to solve monohybrid genetic problems, solve sex-linked genetic problems, then get to genetic problems on dihybrid process, then genetic problems on blood grouping, then also do types of mutations and their examples, be able to interpret pedigree diagrams, and then end with genetic engineering, that is the cloning, stem cell research, as well as modification. For the third topic, we are looking at evolution and under it you need to be able to list the sources of variation, be able to give the lines of evidence for evolution, the benefits of artificial selection, describe how speciation occurs, reproductive isolation mechanisms, give the difference between humans and African apes, be able to interpret the phylogenetic trees and then the out of Africa hypothesis needs to be explained and all of that needs to use the fossil evidence. I have YouTube recommend you more of my videos be sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below.